hi everybody how are you today um i'm so excited to be here my name is annie pezza and i am the founder of penary we are a b2b2c platform that captures travel stories that connects a community of travelers and also amplifies hospitality and travel brands so our community um, our user base is our lifeblood and it fuels our engine. And I am so excited to share with you today how we are implementing AI to make finding inspiration, travel planning, and traveling intentional by delivering on a stellar user experience powered by AI. So how we travel is, is deeply personal. And by pairing AI with authentic stories from a trusted community of like-minded travelers, Pinnery transforms trip planning by delivering relevant inspiration. That means something to you by saving you time and giving you confidence in your travel plans. Okay, I've got my next slide here. So um, this is trip planning, and I'm sure this might look familiar to some of us. Um, and even with the incredible AI-powered travel apps that are out there, this is still trip planning. So how many of you have ever spent hours searching and researching for travel um, to find the perfect trip only to end up completely overwhelmed? You've got your um, LLM delivered travel itinerary that you're vetting, you're looking at reviews, and you are just grasping at straws. You're looking at creator trips. You are um, looking at travel blogs, beautiful online media publications, which are all incredible. And they're all so, so inspiring. But you just wonder, is this information tailored to me? Travel planning, it's personal. But the current tools that we have out there um, kind of treat it like a transaction. So what if AI could not only save you time when you're planning travel, but also personalize your trip with experiences proven by people that you actually trust? So the problem with today's planning, um, here's the deal. We all just want information that is relevant to us, but there's just so much out there. It, it feels like sometimes this information that I'm getting is not really for me, or I don't really understand it. And I still need to vet this. Um, we, we all wanna avoid mishaps when we're traveling and we don't wanna spend 20 to 30 hours, um, which is the average time it takes to plan a week long trip. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna come out here and say that planning travel isn't fun because I actually really love travel planning, but I like it at the beginning. I really like it at that honeymoon stage um, where you're just really excited and I'm going on this trip and I can't wait to go. Um, but then the real work sets in, like in marriage, right? We've gotta do that work. And the same goes for travel planning. Um, we wanna be sure that the guidance that we get is, is tailored to us. And when we read reviews, you know, we're really, sometimes we're not sure, you know, who's behind that review, or we see a face and a name and we see, we see Larry or we see Sharon and we don't know if Larry or Sharon travels like me. Does Sharon, you know, like to stay at pretty places or is she more concerned about the workout facilities? When we're getting down to the wire and we are planning our trip and we've all been there, but sometimes we, we just pull the trigger and then we get to our destination and we're like, oh my gosh, I didn't want to stay, you know, in the business district. I really wanted to stay in the cultural center. I wanted to be by the restaurants. I wanted to be by those, you know, boutique shopping, you know, areas. And uh, oh my gosh, why did we run a car? We didn't need to run a car. Why did we just spend $1,500 on running a car? So there's just a lot of information to gather and it's out there but it just takes a long time to collect that information. There's just, there's TMI and we, we don't know uh, who it's from. So this is the Pinnary approach and we are about stories over uh, search. So right now I just, I wanna pause for a second and share what a travel story is from Pinnary. Um, and I'd like you to reflect on the conversations that you had maybe at the end of the summer when you got together with friends. And I'm guessing maybe the topic of travel came up 
because it's one of the first things that we talk about when we get together with our friends, right? And we wanted to share about our summer vacation. What did you do? What did you stay? You know, what did you love about your trip? Pinnerary is the conversation that you have with your friends. It's what you share about your vacation. You don't monotonously spot out a list of places that you visited. You don't do this in listicle fashion. You don't just offer a review of one place and stop there. No, you share your story. You share what you loved, why you loved it, what you do differently next time. You talk about the restaurant that you went to down the road and why you went there twice because they had the best carbonara. You talk about the coffee shop that you had to go to every single morning because they had the best almond croissants. These are the stories of travel that we love so much. They're so incredibly colorful. And these are the stories that stay with us and they're impactful. So that's what we capture here at Pinerary. The, these stories are impactful for travelers and they're also impactful for the places that we like to visit like hotels. They're impactful for the tours that we participated in. Um, they're impactful for the travel planners that helped plan our travel. Um, it's all user generated content from trusted voices, from travelers, uh, from creators, from travel professionals, people who create a profile and wanna share their travel stories. It's, it's the best way to find out if someone travels like you do is to dig in and see the way that they travel and to see the stories that they share. Personally, I love seeing how uh, creators uh, plan their trips and take their trips and what they do. But I also really love seeing how travel advisors travel. I love to see what their clients did on their travels. That's really illuminating. And that makes me say, wow, I think I may want to hire this travel advisor. And I also really love to just see how someone like me plans travel, someone who's passionate about travel. There are some really incredible armchair travel planners like out there that you can follow and you can find on Pinerary and be inspired by all the time. So um, when we pair these stories with AI, we surface what's, what's most important to us as a traveler. It's, it's not just everything that we like, but it's what other people like. It's, it's other people's ideas that we trust and it's recommendations based on budgets, dates, but also all of our preferences. And these recommendations come to us not only when we're planning, but also while we are traveling. So future vision, travel personas. So it's really, really fun um, for me to talk about the future of Pinerary. Currently, we use AI to summarize our Pinerarys and give travelers a snapshot um, of, of the pinneries that they find using an LLM integration. So we can, we can use those to, um, to quickly take a look at different pinneries and see which ones we like and which ones we wanna to save to our profile to help us plan. But what's on the agenda is, is so much more. Um, let me just say one thing, what you'll never see at Pinnerary is a top 10 list. And the only way that you'll see a top 10 list on Pinnerary is if our community curates it of course, but otherwise the trust is completely thrown out the window and that's that's not who we are. Um, but back to the travel persona, it's so important. It's a personal look at every single traveler. It's it's what they love about traveling. It's about what's what's so important to them. It's the types of properties that they love to stay. It's the trip vibes that represent their travel. Do they love traveling to mountain destinations? Are they an ocean type of traveler? Do they love to completely mix it up? Are they open to every kind of travel? Do they love historical trips? Do they just want to chill out on vacations? Um, you know, what are their favorite activities? Do they prioritize sustainability or, or do they prioritize luxury? Or maybe it's a mix of both. But it's really about funneling trusted information from those within a trusted community who share your travel persona. So let's talk about Pinerary in action. Um, I'm obviously part of the Pinerary community. I've shared lots of travels and you're welcome to go and follow me and check those out. Um, but many, many a time I take mountain vacations, all, I, although I love lots of different types of vacations. Um, but right now I think that the mountains are calling my name and I think I want to plan a mountain vacay. Um, I'm from Denver 
and I'm, I love skiing. I love snowboarding. I love hiking. And I just love to be in mountain towns. I love the people. I love the way the air smells. I love everything about it. Um, but you know what? I'm kind of in the mood for something different. I always head out west because that's where I'm from. And I love Montana too. And I love Wyoming. And I love Idaho. I love California. But you know, I think I'm in the mood for something different. So at Pinnery, we can search for travel by destination. We can search by vibe. Um, and we actually have 32 different vibes to choose from. We can also search for uh, travel by budget, by the way. I don't know if I just mentioned that as well. So I select the mountain vibe along with the historical vibe, not to mention the foodie vibe and the city vibe because I want a little bit of culture. And then I select solo as my travel style because I am going to go it alone this time. And I am met with an array of itineraries, or and we call them actually pinneries here, that are full of inspiration. And I am captivated by Rajda's story. I'm captivated by the photographs that she shares and all of the detail. And I can see that this girl really, she travels like me. So some of the things that she shares that really pique my interest, uh, she talks about the streets around Taptani and the castle, um, that it's great for walking, but there's shopping nearby. She mentions, mentions a restaurant that they visit in Oda Garden, which is one of her favorites. Um, it's tucked away in a quiet corner. It serves authentic Albanian dishes that taste homemade, despite being kind of a touristy place. Um, the staff is friendly and the atmosphere gives off cozy boho vibes. I'm done. Like this is totally my type of restaurant. This trip is looking like it is made for me. So I decided to copy this trip to Albania and save it to my Pinaray user profile. And I'm going to use it to plan my own adventure. But wait a second. We've got Bailey's itinerary. And this is just another Pinaray in our database that also matches my travel persona um, and plans. And like, like this one, it's, it's, this is shared by Bailey and, and Bailey, again, she travels like me. She has adventure vibes. She, uh, mentions historic vibes on this trip. And of course she mentions mountains. She mentions hiking. She also mentions backpacking. So here we are in the Pinerary trip builder, and this is, uh, where we put together our trips. I can create a trip fresh and I can kind of like Spotify, I can grab bits and pieces from a music playlist or a pinnerary, um, or I can just copy someone's like a music playlist and I can create my own. Um, so here I've got Raj's trip ready to go and it's, it's just waiting for me here. But wait a minute, uh, AI also matches Bailey's itinerary with my travel persona. And as I'm creating my plan with Raj's pinnerary, I'm getting information funneled to me uh, regarding Bailey's Pinerary because it fits my travel vibe and my travel persona. So these recommendations will be effortlessly funneled to me as I plan. The difference is, is that they're coming from my community and they have a face and a name attached. So I trust it. My plan is feeling great and I've got an outline to follow. And as I'm traveling, I'm going to get recommendations as well. So Pinerary Impact, what we are is we, we are for travelers. Um, we save time, we make things feel personal, we spark inspiration by the stories that are shared uh, for brands, our stories. Uh, the information that is discovered from these stories uh, gives brands authentic insight so that they can refine their experiences and build loyalty, getting them closer to their ultimate goal, which is creating brand affinity. And finally, these stories for the industry, we are bridging the gap between tech efficiency and human storytelling. So thank you so much for your time. I would really love to connect with all of the founders today because uh, your platforms are incredible and I'm totally inspired by what you are doing. So let's all connect and grow and um, make travel the best. Thank you so much for your time. And oh, here's my contact information. Feel free to reach out. And thanks again. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Travel Trends crew. This is this is awesome.